Go ahead and remove the tire and rock the brake drum off. Take your approved brake cleaner and spray down everything from top to bottom and make sure the runoff drips into your oil drain pan and is disposed of properly. Then just let everything dry. Now you want to remove the large spring near the top which runs from shoe to shoe. Take your brake spring pliers and unhook the spring from one side and pull it off the other side. Take your brake spring tool and put it over the washer and the spring on the right brake shoe. Give it about a quarter of a turn and the washer and the spring will come off. Remove the small clip from the stud at the top of the right shoe shown here. Now use your brake spring pliers to remove the spring at the bottom. Now the right brake shoe can come off. Now this is the brake adjusting mechanism and it will come off when you pull those shoes out so go ahead and set that aside. Take your brake spring tool and put it over the washer and the spring on the left brake shoe. Just as on the right side, give it about a quarter of a turn and the washer and the spring will come off. Pull the left brake shoe out and you'll find the long spring that is attached to it hidden by the spindle. Go ahead and set it aside. The arm here is the emergency brake arm and it's attached to the spring at the bottom. Flip the brake shoe over and you can see here that the brake shoe is attached to the emergency arm by a horseshoe shaped clip. Remove the clip using a screwdriver by pulling the ends apart and removing it. Notice that there's a flat washer under the clip. Now remove the brake shoe. Get your new left brake shoe, fit it into the emergency brake arm and put the flat washer back on. Put on a new horseshoe shaped clip and hold the brake shoe and the emergency brake arm together, slipping the clip over the stud and washer and squeezing the ends together with a pair of pliers. Flip the shoe back up in its original position, slipping the bottom underneath that metal plate at the bottom. Make sure that the pin in the center goes through that hole in the shoe. And hold the pin in place and put the spring and washer on. And using your brake spring tool, push in and give it all a quarter of a turn so that the shoe is locked into place. Now take that retaining spring that was hidden by the spindle and put it back on. You can see here on another shoe how the spring goes on. One end goes into the round hole through the back of the shoe. Just rest it there for now. Now take the brake adjuster and turn the star wheel so that the adjuster is shortened. This end goes into the slot of the left brake shoe and the parking brake arm. Just rest the adjuster now. Now take the right brake shoe and set it into place, making sure that the pin goes through the hole in the center. Again, hold the pin in place and put the spring and washer on. And using your brake spring tool, push in and give it all a quarter of a turn so that the shoe is locked into place. Take the right end of the spring we attached to the left shoe and attach it to the inner round hole shown here using your brake spring pliers. This end hooks around the front while the other end went around the back. Use your pliers to make sure that the spring is seated properly. Now take the clip we took off at the beginning and fit it onto the stud on the new right brake shoe at the top. Swing the shorter leg of the clip to your left and put it between the prongs of the brake adjuster.
Holding that in place, you need to now put the top spring back on. Hook it into the hole on the left and using your brake spring pliers, stretch it to the hole on the clip that we just put in. Now put your brake drum back on. Go to the back and you'll see a slot. Take your screwdriver or other tool and stick it in the slot and turn the star wheel upwards. Now as the star wheel is turned, you'll hear a click. Now keep turning the wheel until you hear a slight drag when you spin the brake drum. Now when you do, go ahead and put your tire back on. Now be sure to check your brake fluid level when you're finished. 